everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited. Yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious blooming onion. This blooming onion right here is beautiful, so easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and if you make it Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my blooming onion before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. You will need a nice onion. And I highly suggest when you choose your onion, get between a medium and a large size onion. You will need some flour. Any kind of flour will do the trick, but the type of flour that I'll be using today is just an all-purpose flour. You will need some egg, okay? Now, um, this is just regular egg. It does not have water in it, but we will be putting milk, uh, one cup of milk in with these four eggs. You're gonna need a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. So right here, I have some cayenne pepper. We have some salt and pepper blend. We have some paprika, and then we have some garlic powder. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet yeah, so tasty recipe. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever heard of a blooming onion? A blooming onion is something that I found years and years ago at Outback Steakhouse. So I'd like to say this is kind of like a copycat recipe. It's delicious. If you are the person that loves onion rings, onion chips, onion petals, you're gonna love this recipe and it's fancy and it's easy. So now the first thing that we need to do is I need to show you how we need to break this onion down. Here's how it's done. We're gonna turn around. Let's move a couple of things so y'all can see. We're gonna turn around right here where this part is. We wanna slice it to make it nice and flat. But you don't wanna go too far, okay? Just slice a little bit of it. Okay, see that little bit came off? Let's see how even we can get it, okay? Not too even, so I feel like I need to come across this way. Cut a little bit more, that looks like it'll do the trick. Okay, I'm happy with the way that's sitting, okay? Next thing that we wanna do is we wanna take a little bit of the top off. Just like so in this manner, and then we're gonna peel the outer part off. Just like so. I don't know about you all, but I love onion rings. And this recipe is by far one of the easiest recipes I've ever made. It's so easy. This right here is the hardest part. And really, it's not really hard. It's easy. And I'm going to show you right now. Okay? So now we're going to take a really sharp knife. We want to put the onion down on the base side. Okay? And we need to slice. But when we slice, don't you go too far. You go too far, you kind of mess it up and you need to grab a, another onion. I've done that before. And if you got a bag full of onions in your refrigerator, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> just go a little, you know, just go to there. Don't cut all the way down. And you just keep turning it. So we can create what they call the petals. Okay, so now I wanna go through here, just like so. I feel like this is mistake free, you know? All right, let's see. Let's give myself a couple of more petals, just like so. Maybe one more slice and we'll be done with the petal slicing. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. So now you can see what we have created. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go in and kind of pull those petals apart just a little bit, being very gentle not to break the onion apart because that's not what we're looking to do. We're wanting to just open up the petals so it looks like a blooming onion or flower, so to speak. So now that you have that done, I'm happy with that. Some of your inside petals may fall out and that's okay. Okay, beautiful. So now that we have that done, when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to get the dredge together so we can dredge up this beautiful onion. So now what we want to do next is we want to season up our flour. If you season up the flour very well, it's going to have so much flavor. You don't want it to have 
just salt and pepper flavor. You give it some spice. You know, like we're going to do today, we're going to use some red pepper, some cayenne pepper today. Okay? We're not going to try to knock off anybody's socks. We don't want it that spicy. You know, but just a little bit of spice in the back of the throat is, is, is good. Okay, we're going to go in with some salt and pepper, just like so. And then we're going to use some paprika. It gives a little smoky flavor. This is not smoked paprika, though, okay? And then we're going to go in with a nice amount of garlic powder, okay? And then we're just going to mix that up, just like so, in this manner. Beautiful. When I come back, we're going to get started scrambling up our eggs, just like so. So I want to blend together the four eggs with one cup of milk. This is a whole milk, but really you can use what kind of milk that you would like to use. Just make sure that you get the two well incorporated, okay? Really take the time to beat those eggs up just like so. And the first thing that we're going to do after we get done with this process is we are then going to take our onion and we want to dip it into something dry. By dipping the onion into something dry, it's going to be able to hold the batter on. So we dip it into the dried mixture, then we're going to dip it into the, the egg and milk mixture, back into the dried mixture, and then right into our top, into our hot oil. Now, if you take a look over here at the oil, I'd like to show you just about how much oil you're going to need in order for this to be successful. So you can see about how much I have. You don't want your oil to be too shallow because we have this big onion that kind of needs to be submerged in the oil. So that's why we have about this much. And that'll do the trick because at one point during the cooking process, we will be flipping that onion over. When I come back, let's get started dredging. So now what we need to do is I want you to take your onion and remember to, like I said earlier, take your fingers and kind of open up the petals. So now, let's go ahead over this way, and we want to get the flower in between the petals. So you're going to have to manipulate the onion in such a way to where you can get down in there. You know, open those petals up and kind of push some of that flower down in there, making sure that you're coating all of the petals pretty much. Okay? And then we can turn it up this way. We want to get the outside. Okay? Now, some of the flour won't stick. Don't worry about that. I don't want you freaking out, all right? Just like so. That's just about perfect. Okay? Shake some of the flour down. Shake some of the flour out. Okay? Kind of interesting, right? So now, we're going to go in with our egg mixture. See how I'm opening it back up? I want to do this get the egg. It can be kind of messy, but that's what soap and water is for, you know. When you're all done, you can wash your hands, no worries, right? You're going to dip this just one time in the egg mixture, okay? You may feel like at some point that your petals are going to fall off. If some of the petals fall off, it's okay. <laughs> and if they don't, it's okay. <laughs> all right, you're still going to have a whole lot of onion left over. All right, you see that I'm really getting that egg down in there. Let's drip off what we can. Let it drip off. Back into the flour. This is the last flour dip that we're going to be doing. And once again, we're going to manipulate the onion in such a way to where all the petals can get nice and coated. And here, let's talk about something really interesting while I do this. What we need to do is we need to let this onion um, set in your freezer for at least 15 minutes to and half an hour. I'm going to do 15 minutes, okay? Just to let this beautiful batter kind of bind to the onion, okay? So this is going to go into the freezer. I'm just going to put it on a small cookie sheet, and when I come back, the oil will be nice and hot. We're going to start frying these babies. So my oil is nice and hot, and we've let this onion set in the freezer on this here cookie sheet for about 15 minutes. Like I said, if you have a half an hour, a half an hour is fine also. So now once again, let's come in really quickly and make sure that the petals are open as much as you can. Don't break them though. Just kind of separate them just a little bit if you can and if you can't, don't worry about it. Okay, so now what I want to do 
is I want to take this, okay, this spider here, and we want to cook it upside down first, okay? So let's lower it into the hot oil upside down. And I don't know if you can see that sizzle, but that there sizzle, you have to have it in order for this to turn out right. This is turned up on a medium high, almost high, okay? And we want it to get golden brown. As it cooks and the onion begins to cook, it, it'll get golden brown and it'll bloom even more. That's why it's called a blooming onion. It kind of looks like a blooming flower. So now, if you just do a, a number like this, you know, you'll be able to see that beautiful golden brown starting to happen. And when you see that, it's perfectly fine for you to go in once again, give it a nice flip over so the other side can get nice and cooked. And one thing you're gonna notice is that if you take a look down at the onion, the oil is coming halfway up the onion. So when we flip it over, the other side of the onion will have perfect time and perfect amount of oil to get nice and cooked. So when I come back, we'll flip this over and I'm gonna show you all how to put together a really quick and simple, delicious sauce, Gina Young style. This sauce takes about two seconds to make. And honestly, I don't measure it, but here's how it's done. We're gonna take some ranch, any kind of ranch you have, all right? Put some into your little ramekin, your bowl, whatever you may have. And we have some ketchup, all right? And then a little bit more ketchup. And then we have some honey, quick and simple. And boy, these three flavors right here are absolutely amazing together and so the next thing look how beautiful we mix it up just like so and then this is going to be our dipping sauce now i do have a second dipping sauce and that is cocktail sauce just because i happen to absolutely adore cocktail sauce all right so that's our beautiful sauce there has a gorgeous color it's almost time to flip our onion over so when i come back that's what we'll do i'm going to say an amazing prayer you get that first bite Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style, homemade blooming onion. Make you some. So I just wanted to remind you, after your onion is cooked, you must put it on a cooling rack um, so that the oil can drain. And you also can drain it upside down as well. You don't want anybody to bite into an onion petal and it's filled with grease, okay? So let's go ahead and plate it up. <laughs> Oh, look at that. What I love about this is this is a shareable, um, this is a shareable recipe. So you could share it with your loved one, share it with whoever's at your table, and everybody can just pick off, make sure they wash their hands, so you know. <laughs> All right, we got that gorgeous sauce right here. And if you want it to, you can hollow out the middle and put your sauce down in, inside. Okay, let's go ahead and say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you once again for a beautiful meal. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. One more look at this beautiful blooming onion, Gina Young style. Listen here, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Amen. Once again, to my beautiful prayer, let's go ahead and take a bite. I'll show you how it's done. I'll, oh, I'm going to show you how it's done. Just take a pedal. You just take a pedal. <laughs> and you pull it off. Oh my goodness, look at this. See, the thing about it right now is it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. But I will let you take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm. So much better. Look at that. So much better than regular onion rings. Oh my goodness. You make a Gina Young style, you won't be let down. God bless and good night.